Happy Easter, everyone. I'm jumping on for 13 minutes and uh, wanted to say hi. I wanted to wish everybody a happy Easter. Also promised myself to be consistent and persistent in the pursuit of helping people. So although it's Easter night, I promised that I was going to do this every day and I did not want to miss. So I'm going to take a few minutes, even though we'll probably, hey, Jesse, have a few less people. But you know what? I don't care. I'm here to help and would love to answer questions, go live with anyone that wants to go live. We'll just jump real quick and uh, keep it quick. I got 12 more minutes left. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter, happy Easter, Mr. Dodds, Mr. Detroit in the house. Give me some questions while I'm here. Hope everyone had a great day with their family. Hope they're staying healthy and happy. We're gonna have an extraordinary week. Uh, one of the things, if you haven't done it now, go study your calendar tonight go study it with attention and pay in attention and put intention into the things you have planned this week, the white space, the things you don't have planned this week, and also your sleep, uh, the habit that we all share. We're going to just be on for a tiny bit here tonight, but I'm staying. How to live life day by day while also looking towards your visions. Okay. Look, uh, take daily inventory of your values uh, and study your calendar. Do it now. Ask and attract, ask questions, a series of questions of how you can provide service of value and ask a series of questions, how uh, someone else can help you. And then also practice ending fear. Those are the five ways. Hello, Julie, world's greatest motivator producer. Julie Hamilton is here and have a wonderful Easter. Thank you for joining me for 10 minutes. I'm just trying to stay consistent. Uh, what's your take on, let me see what that one says real quick. What's your take on living in America and mandatory vaccines? Wow. Now we're going to get heavy, huh? Wow. Um, first of all, I love living in America. I love visiting other places, but this is where I want to live. Um, and I don't believe in mandatory, uh, mandatory vaccines, but uh, I haven't been in a situation where a pandemic exists and uh, if it's, it would be the only way to stop from uh, everyone dying, yeah, I would be into mandatory vaccines. Uh, you know, but there's a lot of issues to look at and there'd be a lot of experts that I'd have to talk to and learn more. I've learned over the time, be more interested than interesting and you know, try not to talk about things that you don't know too much about. Seek uh, the advice and counsel of those who do know. So I would look more into into it. But I do know that I love living in America. Is the SBA loan a good idea? It can be, right? Depending on your timing and your risk tolerance. Two things that you have to take into consideration. Uh, so go ahead. Uh, got some tough questions in the last 10 minutes of losing everything, family included. How can one stay in a healthy mind when memories, okay. I've lost everything but my family. Number one, health. If you have your health, right, you can do whatever you want. Don't even call it and come back, right? Life's just about lessons. The lessons will keep on coming until you learn them and they result in pain if you haven't learned them. So if you lost your money and you lost your family and you still got your health, you are well on your way, my friend, because you now have those lessons. And if you learn and take the light, the love from those lessons, oh, you can do so many different things. Go ahead, ask for help, forgive yourself, have gratitude, forgiveness, take accountability for it all, and you will clear those clouds, those clouds that create the corrosion or interference to the greatest light, power and source of love and lessons that you already are connected to. You can do it. Gratitude, forgiveness, accountability, and clear those clouds for inspiration. Can anyone get out of depression? I've been in depression for five years. Um, so look, some people have a quantum memory. Um, their DNA is more in the depressive mindset. Uh, so it takes a lot more work and it takes a lot more time. Uh, I know one thing that everyone, no matter how depressed they are or quantumly, they're uh, pre just position toward, uh, positioned towards that, you can enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential. So baby steps, right? If uh, you're depressed half the day, then try to knock off a minute, you know, take baby steps. Just keep pursuing your potential, potential of feeling better. 
right? The ego will edge goodness out of your life. It'll edge gold out of your life. Go ahead, edge it back in. Edge it back in by taking those baby steps. Everyone has different potential. Just pursue yours with a smile. Enjoy it. Uh, and uh, just know it may take me longer, but it'll take me a minute less tomorrow or a second less the next day. Keep on fighting. You got it. Um, reference you aware of CES MMA out of New England? Uh, no, but I'm happy to learn. Go ahead and email me at david at dmeltzer.com or join me on uh, Friday. Uh, do free trainings 11 a.m. Pacific time, California time, Pacific time, 11 a.m. every Friday for free. Love, love it. And we're killing it. What do you think about the house market? Buying or not? Look, depending on where you live, depending on your timing and your risk tolerance, go find an expert where you live in your space and ask one question. Can you please tell me when this market's oversold? Determined upon your timing and, t and risk tolerance, interest rates, et cetera. Remember, you don't buy a price in a house. You buy a payment unless you're paying cash. Uh, so all of those variables involved, I'm sure if you find an expert in your space, you will do extremely well uh, and be able to buy when uh, things are oversold. And then when on the way out, ask them to let you know when it's overbought, if you're looking to flip. Uh, what marketing company do you use to run your Facebook ads? Go ahead and email me. I've got a great, great uh, guy that I use, david at dmeltzer.com. Go ahead and reach out. You can also... Um, uh, will you please go live? I am going live with Danica. I'm not sure if Aaron's going to join us or not, but this week I'm going live with Danica Patrick. Thanks for asking. That's weird. Um, <laughs> I can't wait, by the way. I adore, adore Danica Patrick. She is an amazing woman and a huge, huge friend and fan, if you can be a friend and a fan at the same time. How do you feel so alone? Or how do... How do you f not feel alone anymore? I lost my family. Um, you're not alone. You're connected to everything and everyone. And so you just need to go out and help somebody. Uh, when we're depressed, when we're feeling alone, when we're feeling separate and fear is superior, whatever it may be, the, the fastest cure is go do something for somebody else. You know, whether you know them or not, go volunteer. I promise you, it will fill the void. The, it will immediately give you some serotonin it will start conditioning that practice of being happy and being together and connected if you are hopeless if you are sad depressed alone go do something for someone else okay very very easy can i be on your podcast maybe adam go ahead email me david at dmelter.com or you could text me at 949-298-2905 have you ever thought for running for president yeah when i was a little boy uh I'll be vice president, though. Put it out there. I'll be vice president. Now, if somebody wants me to be vice president, but I'm just telling you, there's a lot of skeletons in my closet as I've tried to illuminate most of them. So you will get someone that has had a serious, flawed, truthful background, and I'm not going to hide from it. But I'll, I'll take the VP role if somebody wants. <laughs> Glade. Uh, best breathing techniques for anxiety. Straighten your spine. Breathe in through your nose as deep as you can, out through your mouth. <sighs> six times preferably i call it the six breaths of buddha i'm gonna be launching the ferocious buddha that's who i am the ferocious buddha Gemma, i miss you i haven't seen you on here hi sweetie uh how long do you think this will last a lifetime what is this my heartbeat <laughs> come on we are in the middle of a correction Come, it's not a disaster. We're in the middle of a correction. You're in the middle of a miracle. This is where the millionaire's margins are made. There's so many things that you can do. Uh, and I have no idea how long anything lasts. Uh, what's the best advice for a 23-year-old graduate? Uh, be radically humble. Ask for help. Uh, easiest advice. Let me see if I can go live with someone real quick. I got a few minutes. Um, oh, God, I love this, man. <laughs> Big. Carl saves the world. Could the name get any better than that? Little David tries to empower others to be happy. Big Carl saves the world. This is awesome. Hey, Jeremiah, good to see you, man. Come Friday, next Friday, we're still on 11 a.m. Pacific time, uh, California time. Jem, I'd love to see you. Big Carl, you too big for the connection? What's going on here? Little David is waiting for you. I can hear you. I can't see you. What's going on?
<laughs> well, give me your give me your question so I can get to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can uh, vote for what other people want, or you can vote for what your gut's telling you. I know Brian Rose, and like anything else, uh, if you feel that it's for you and you stay uh, focused and you're willing to do what it takes, you're going to be successful um, for sure. And I you said out here, how do you find a mentor, man? reach out to me and find a mentor. I will help you find someone in the situation that you want to be in. Someone that's paid the dummy tax has learned uh, for you so you can accelerate and grow from it. You know, there's quantitative value. You get what you pay, put into it. Ask Jeremy Greenfield there. He just came on. He's one of my uh, dear, dear partners and was a mentee. He's a good, good guy. So uh, go ahead. Uh, reach out to me, more than happy. Uh, all of the business, all those guys are my friends. They're great programs if you do them. If you do them, all right? If you do them. So let's keep this thing moving here. Can you share more about your practice of Theta Meditation? Go ahead, look up Dr. Sangeeta Sahi. Uh, go online on YouTube and look up Theta Meditation. Uh, I am not a good teacher of it, but I've been practicing it myself for 13 years. Let me take... Uh, one more question, and then we're going to call it breaks for uh, till tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. We'll be back online tomorrow, 8 a.m. Uh, so um, we'll uh, we'll be back. It's Easter. I don't want to take too much time from Moana. How are you choosing to personally develop now? Uh, my main personal development uh, right now is to practice ending fear, uh, to create a habit machine. So... Uh, all the different interferences between me and what I'm already connected to and inspired to and be able to articulate it to other people. That's my main practice of development now to seek as much information from my mentors in order to get more power and, and more clarity uh, to what I'm already connected to. And, you know, that ego is so complex. It keeps edging goodness out of my life, edging gold out of my life. And the more I can be at center in this enlightened uh, and growing, accelerating and learning state, the, the better. I appreciate everybody. Uh, had limited time today because of Easter, but wanted to stay consistent and send everyone my love and lessons for today. We kept it short, but uh, you know, in about 13 hours and 10 minutes, 8 a.m. Pacific time, I'll be back on for a normal Q&A session. Please come back, ask your questions. If you want, you can email me david at dmeltzer.com. You could text me at 949-298-2905. At the very least, come to my free trainings on Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific time, California time. Everyone's invited. It's free. Uh, and most importantly, stay happy, healthy. Enjoy your Easter, your Passover. Be kind to your future self and do good deeds. Have a great night, everybody.